everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got it for you all right here. Before we get into some NHL action for April 10th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section. As you see, there's all kinds of great tools to help you make your picks. So the NHL season is near the end. We still have a few games left to go and a few playoff positions up for grab. So let's take a look at some of these games. We've got Buffalo and New York Rangers, Colorado, excuse me, Carolina and Ottawa. We're not taking a look at those two. The first game we want to look at, as you scroll down through the list, is the New York Islanders and the Washington Capitals. If you notice in this contest here, the Islanders come in to play eighth in the Eastern Conference, while the Capitals have been eliminated from postseason contention. The Islanders are road favorites of 1.84 to 2.12 in the odds. Uh, the Islanders come in average status winners of three out of their last six. While the Capitals are dead stats, they have lost five in a row and are just one in five over their last six. If you take a look at the over and under, Washington has been involved in games over the line of five out of their last six, while New York has been over in two out of their last three. The power ranks indicator shows the Islanders are at plus 11, while Washington is at plus 12, a little bit plus 13. A little bit odd considering that, that the Islanders have been playing much more better as of late. Um, the score prediction has the Islanders 3-2 to two with a confidence in prediction of about 46%. If we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups for this year, you can see that Washington, uh, New York won on March 29th, then Washington won the previous two. So 2-1 two and one for the season series so far for Washington. All the winners have been on the road. If you take a look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, you can see both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favored underdog status, plus 17 for Washington and plus 11 for the Islanders, although uh, New York has been a lot uh, less consistent as of late, as you can see that they've been a lot more upward and downward trend in that blue line. Um, in the end here, I think this is going to be a game for New York. I like the Islanders to win, but I'll pass this time on the over-under bet. The next game we want to look at is Toronto and Florida. In this contest here, Toronto comes in fifth in the Eastern Conference, and uh, Florida is seventh, so both teams in good playoff position. Burning hot for Florida, as you see, they have won five out of the last six. An average down status for uh, Toronto is they are just three and three, alternating wins and losses over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the teams have been trending on opposite sides of that line. Florida, three out of their last four over while Toronto, three out of their last five under. Interestingly enough, though, the score prediction has a pretty high uh, score in this contest of four to three and a pretty high level of confidence in the prediction of 71%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Toronto has been consistently above Florida all year, and they are at plus 29. They've been steady near the top of the league all this time also, while Florida has been on a good upward trend from plus seven back on March 29th, and they have climbed all the way to plus 18. If you take a look at the stability factor and the volatility oscillator, both teams have been consistent, at both at plus 14. Now you can see that Toronto was at plus 15 uh, back at the end of February. So really over the last month or so, they have not been very consistent at all with regard to their favorite underdog status. But in the end here, I like Florida to win this one at home, perhaps needing overtime to do so. And I'm going to pass though on the over under bet. The next game we want to look at is Nashville and Calgary. This is probably the game of the day. You can see both teams are playing excellent hockey right now, burning hot. Five and one for both. Well, actually five and one for Calgary over the last six games, while Nashville is four and two over their last six. With regard to the over-under, you can see Nashville in their last five games have been over in three of them. And Calgary has been over in four out of their last five games. The score prediction has a lower scoring contest, though, of 3-2 to two in favor of Calgary, with about 65% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator again, and look at Calgary on a downward trend from plus 23 down to plus 16 over the last few days, while Nashville on an upward trend from plus 8 to plus 14. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, you can see that Nashville has been more stable, more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus nine. While Calgary, not, never really that consistent all year long, really at just a peak of plus six back on, or plus five back on January the 6th, and they're now down to plus one. So take that into consideration before you make your pick. 
In the end, though, I like Calgary to end this streak. I like them to win at home, and I'll take this game over the line. Okay, so the final one we want to look at here as we go down through the list, there was one more you wanted to look at. This was Vancouver and Los Angeles. So you notice in this one here, the Kings have a playoff spot locked up, while Vancouver has been eliminated. But both teams have not been playing very well lately. If you look at the trend here, ice cold up for Vancouver, just two and four over the last six. And Los Angeles, ice cold down uh, two and four over the last six, but they've lost their last two. If you look at the score predictor, it's four three in favor of Los Angeles, but it was 58.4% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over under streak, you can see here over for one and under for four for Los Angeles, that's one and four over the last five as far as over under is concerned, and two and two over under for Vancouver. If you look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see that Los Angeles uh, dipped from 28 down to 22, while Vancouver was steady at plus six and they have increased very so slightly to plus seven over the last two days. If you look at the head to head matchup, you can see that Los Angeles won the last one, then Vancouver won the previous one before that. Um, and Vancouver won the first game of the season. So Vancouver is actually 2-1 and one over Los Angeles this season. But I think this is this one's going to go for Los Angeles. They're the better of the two teams, even though neither team's playing well lately. But I like, I like Los Angeles to even the season series in this one. But let's pass off on the over-under bet. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for NHL for April 10th. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.